Hello and welcome to the Borrows Only RuneScape account. We're on a journey to 10,000 Borrows chests without ever gaining experience or gold anywhere else but Borrows. This episode 14, let's get started. So in the previous video we finally managed to hit our first item. It took us 82 chests to finally get one out of the way but there's a Varax Brassard, our 200k chest so more than doubles our previous best. And now that we're more efficient we can just smash out these chests. There's chest 83 and it gives us another 74k pretty much. And we've been wanting to buy something for a while. So I'm going to buy a load of rune arrows here for training range, a thousand. And I'm going to spend the rest of our money on a magic short bow and the imbue scroll. This here actually boosts its range attack from 69 all the way up to 75 as well as lowering its special attack to 50 which means you can double spec back to back so on slow hitting bosses like arms you can hit twice in a row here's all our stats we're starting the video off with we're aiming to go from 51 all the way up to 60 range to unlock red dehyde we also want to get 60 mage out of the way as well we want to get the red salamander in the next few videos and it requires 60 attack mage and range so if we can get those both out of the way in this video and maybe get a second item that'll be class so we'll be working towards that if we can't get a second item we need to get a load of big chests because 60 range unlocks a really stupidly overpowered weapon you can probably guess what it is but you don't understand how overpowered it is i'll show you in the next video if we make enough money so yeah we need to get either a second item to make a load of cash or a load of good chests so there we are with 56 mage coming in anyway just four more mage levels a couple of range levels and we'll be there this wee spot's really really good like otherwise i'd struggle to train at the low levels we also bought 400 meat pies so we are sorted for food for a long long time because you get the pie dishes you never run out of money you never actually use money while eating those foods which is class so here we are training up our first range level and there it is 52 range eight more levels to go 12k to the next level and 7k off 57 magic the magic's much easier because it's like it's slower xp but it's like afk there's 53 hit points coming in but because of the magic we just equip our splash gear we can just do that there's 57 you can just do it while i'm working on the herbie wars in the other account or while i'm editing videos so yeah really overpowered it's kind of like splashing but splashing you can afk for 20 minutes here you can only afk for like three or four but that's still way better than when we're killing these npcs we kill them in like 15 seconds so we have to click on the new one every single 15 but there we are with 58 magic as well and 54 range six more levels to go it'll be class to get this out of the way 60 unlocks so much like the red dehyde but it actually leaves us one level away from maroon crossbow which will be class as well and here it is boys 59 magic coming in oh shit actually i've ran out of runes that's a bit anticlimactic i'll get that next go we're only 581 xp off so that'll take no no time at all but we'll train another range level here while we're down here no point in banking yet and there it is 55 range five levels to go red chin chompas i don't think they'll ever be useful in this account i can't think yeah it's non-multi down here so there's no way we'll ever be using them i actually thought about it and i can actually get this last magic level with the salamander it's slow xp but yeah it'll work good enough so here we are coming in with 59 magic and it'll unlock fire blast which is really really powerful if we can get our hands on like a smoke battle staff a tomb of fire and a load of burnt pages then you can hit like mid 20s maybe 25 plus with it and if we get 70 plus magic with an occult you can hit really high with it so 59 magic a decent fire spell fire blast has been unlocked just one more level to the 60 as well so yeah that's class i think at 60 we also get one more higher max hit with the salamander got dorox in the middle here and just trying to poison him I do tank a few hits from him. He doesn't seem to hit, he's very inaccurate DH. I thought when I'm just wearing like blue D hides at 40 defense, he'd completely rip through me, but he seems to hit the odd 30, otherwise it's all zeros. So yeah, poisoned him, put Charmander on, just burned him down. Takes a while, but does the job like. So there we go, Dorax killed 100%. Can we get lucky? <sighs> Arm staff, second item, just three chests behind the other one that's class <laughs> so it took us 82 chests to get our first item and just three more to get our second item deadly not an expensive item but it actually is really really good for us because we only need a few hundred k to get this big item and because i'm out of air runes i can't actually use my teleport so i had to tally home bank in lumbridge head up to ge sold all our runes bought some more gear and a couple more runes as well actually because we ran out of airs so now i've got another 5k plus strikes and that'll definitely get us up 
past 60 magic and back to our safe spot. When we first get them here, try to trap them like this so it can like splash over the top. And just here's a wee graph I'm gonna be using to keep track of any items we get. If we get two of them, I'll just add a number to the end. So the minute we've got the brass sword and the staff, and if we get any more, I'll just put a wee number in there. I might make it slightly bigger and tidy up the number, use some graphics for the number, but that way I can sell the items, upgrade our gear quicker. There's 60 magic coming in. So it's just the range to go now. Yeah, I'll be able to keep track of everything and still be able to like use the money for gear and for efficiency and just for getting as good as we can. Cause we need like 200 mil for gear and about 50 mil for getting our mage and range up. There's chest 86 coming in, just 53K. No luck with that one. But here we are coming in with another range level, getting close. And there it is, 57 range, 55 HP shortly after as well. But yeah, we're still only 55 combat, so I don't think we're actually getting combat levels here. I think we're ahead of the game with attack and strength. So these mage and range levels aren't actually giving us any combat levels. I'm sure the HP is. There's another elite clue. I've actually seen five elite clue scrolls in 88 chests. But yeah, 66k in that chest. There's 58 range coming in and 350 total. And this one, oh, the rat died. This one is 59 range. One level to go. Getting their voice. This took about six or seven hours, so quite a long grind, but not as bad as some have done in the other account. There we go, 60 range coming in. Red Dehyde unlocked. The new stupidly overpowered weapon unlocked. And I know you're sort of thinking, ah, it's not gonna be that strong. It's only tier 60, but this thing hits hundreds at my range level. There's chest 89, 82K, that's perfect. That should push us over what we need to buy it. I was a bit worried that we wouldn't have enough money, but I think now we will just clear it with that 82k chest. So we'll head up to GE here, sell everything. We need to sell all the items we got as well to even get close to enough money. But hopefully this will push us over the edge if we sell absolutely everything. Even some of this rune might have to be sold. And the warrior ring's definitely getting sold because we'll not be training melee now for a while. Oh, we will actually need to train melee in the next video just because we need 60. Well, we might do that in two videos, actually. The red salamander is something I want to get out of the way. But this weapon here is stupidly overpowered. So we sold a load of my chaos runes. Sold the, oh, the staff wouldn't sell at middle price, either with the brass sword, so I'm gonna have to sell them 5% below. We get the red dehyde out of the way first, and then see if we have enough money for this other thing. Red dehyde's not buying. Set wouldn't buy, the gold set wouldn't buy. The tea set wouldn't buy. Maybe we've just stick it in at like, maybe the normal one will buy. Not even the normal, we'll buy it at 5k, Jesus. We'll just stick it in 10k, it's bound to buy. Yeah, there we go. So we've got the tops and body, sold the staff and the brass art at 5% below, so we've got 500k. We don't actually have enough money for what I wanted to buy, that sucks. We're gonna have to do a few more chests, but we'll get the vamps out of the way first, and at least we'll have the red dehyde unlocked. Sell all this blue dehyde. And do we have enough? Nah, we don't have enough. Shit, we'll have to get it later on in the video. But we do have full set of red dehyde, including the shield. There we go. Looking pretty strong now. So plus 150, before we were at 140. So it's a plus 10 range bonus boost, much better. So we're gonna head back over, do a few more chests. Actually, we'll buy a couple more amethyst arrows instead of the rune, because they're higher damage and We've got a magic short bow, so it'll be really strong in arms now with those better arrows. I'll sell this blue dehyde shield as well, actually, I don't need it. So there we go, completely upgraded from blue dehyde to red dehyde, much more powerful. And we've got the magic short bow eye, so that's going to be class later on. There's Guthin's killed, perfect chest, 87%. 87% as well is the best you can do for blood runes, but unfortunately we didn't hit any there. Chest 90, only 38k. We still need another about 150, so a few more chests. There's 91, gives us 38. Just want to show you what arms looks like now that we've got this. So we get them in, lure them, pretty easy. And then poison them, and because we're always hitting on them, we very rarely miss when we've got the crossbow on. There he is poisoned. Then we equip this, and because of his tick rate and our tick rate, we can actually get two specials off before he hits us once and because half the time he uses curse he only does damage on you maybe every every couple of hits and we can hit him twice for every single one he gets off on us we can get two on him so because of the weakens and curses we're actually getting like 10 hits for every three times he fires a spell at us and a lot of the time he splashes like there's a hit in a zero sometimes he splashes look at there he's hit four on us since we've had him lured he did hit us for 17 when we entered the room 
but there he is dead. We can just completely rip through him. I'm also catching this small mouse the odd time, the toy mouse for a bit of agility XP. Working my way up in the middle of these runs towards 15 agility. And there it is. 15 agility. It's not very high, but it's a hell of a lot better than 1. And eventually we'll get up to 20 plus agility. Just showing you as a run here in the background at times 50 speed. Just so you can see what it's like now with the red dehyde. Just get everybody poisoned. Much, much easier to poison them. And then kill them with the orange salamander. And there's chest 92, 28k. So that there one took us 17 minutes. So we're just under 4 chests per hour at the moment. But we're kind of like chilling AFK in here and there. Just letting them die by poison. We're not really going for full efficiency. So I think if we pushed it, we could get four chests per hour at the moment. But I think at high levels, if we like get our perfect gear and we're never banking apart from when our inventory is full of items, we'll be able to do at least 15 chests per hour. I'm not sure what the max is, but we'll definitely find out. We'll try a couple with the like max offensive gear, see what our maximum amount we can do in an hour is, and then try a couple of times just with our like tank gear with the black salamander going for max profit. And there's chest 93 coming in. So I don't know if we need to do one more, but I might go and check here, see if we've got enough money to buy it. We did make over 100k there, so we should be very close. I'm just gonna sell everything, the rune as well. I think we will have enough if we sell like this rune kite, rune, rune chain, addy plate. Yeah, definitely, definitely got it here. Nice one. So we're gonna lock the third most overpowered weapon at this level. This one's stronger than the other two, even though the salamander's pretty insane at this level. And the poison bolts are insane. This here is even better. The dark bow. I'm just seeing if I can afford one of these colorings just to make it a bit fashion scape. I don't think I can though. 160k. Right, we might get that later on. Because this dark bow, we're going to be using it up until just all the time actually. It's insanely overpowered, the dark bow. I'll show you how overpowered in the next video. But yeah, there we go. Full red D hiding locked. And the dark bow looking like an absolute beast 161 range bonus but there's an effect this dark bow has that is just stupidly overpowered and we'll get to that at the start of the next video thanks all for watching i'll see you soon bye